Can you talk about the state, the maturity of CPAT project, if there are deployments, what is the state? Because we are an early adoption project, that means that we are, CPAS is existing in the real world. As I said, the pioneer was uh, RTE, the French TSO, that have, since a couple of months, uh, um, a pilot substation running uh, uh, with their new control command, running on, uh, with CPAS, with satisfaction, and that's, that's very cool. And also, RT published a first RFI and RFQ with asking um, the market to test, you know, protection, soft protection and, and, and software to run on the CPAS hosted by the uh, RTE. So that was a huge move on the market to say, okay, CPAS is production ready and you have a big TSO uh, in the world uh, that asks the market to supply and test some um, virtualization, uh, some, some virtualized protection to run on, uh, on that. We also have one of our strong contributor, G. Vernova, who is also running some POC in uh, some uh, European uh, national grid. Um, and we saw there is also the French DSO uh, that's, and, and some other, we, there are some European DSO that actually are trying to evaluate uh, CPAS as a potential solution on their roadmap to bring, to build their um, digitized substation. And we saw, because recently we, we made uh, a training on CPAS uh, with uh, RT International, which is the, the service branch of RT for uh, getting abroad. Uh, and we had a huge interest, and we see a huge interest on the market by TSO and DSO from South America, North America, Europe, uh, around CPAS. So that means that we are at the good time, at the right time, and um, that gives us a huge responsibility for keeping the track of uh, good governance of that project.